The judge's son was booked into the jail here Wednesday. The evening his wife was shot and killed. And tonight we're learning more about the judge's involvement after that shooting. 35 year old Omnison Azali charged with murder. Investigators say it happened inside Azali's Euclid home Wednesday. His wife, Waka Azali, found shot to death. The medical examiner ruled a 37 year old died of gunshot wounds to her head. But Azali's attorney says that doesn't mean this was murder. But this is a clear cut case of self defense. Just as clear cut as you can imagine. Euclid police still haven't released details of the shooting, but attorney Jeffrey Saffold says evidence at the scene tells the story. You have shell casings from two different guns that were found on scene. You have two separate guns found on scene. One of those guns fired one group of uh, shells and another gun fired another group of, of bullets. He says his client, an Iraq war veteran, stopped home to take the couple's son to a doctor's appointment. He says Azali's children were outside when the shooting happened and that his client drove them to his mother's house after. He says Azali and his mom, Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Judge Cassandra Collier Williams, then called 911. Saffold says the pair then drove back to the scene of the shooting where Azali surrendered to police. We asked Saffold about concerns surrounding the judge's involvement. This has nothing to do with the judge. This has to do with a decorated, veteran who has served his country, who was confronted by a woman who fired upon him and he fired back. Whether his mother is the Queen of England is irrelevant in this case. We left a message for the judge's bailiff today and with a court spokesperson. So far, we haven't gotten a response. In the meantime, a judge set Azali's bail at $1 million. A Cuyahoga County spokesperson confirms Azali was hired by the county in January as a project manager in the county's IT department. Before that, he worked for the city of Cleveland for nearly four years. In Cleveland, I'm 500 side investigator Scott Knoll.